Hi everyone, it's Stephen Downs, and I'm doing another episode of Stephen Follows Instructions. Today we're doing Open Data Editor, which just came out three days ago. It's a beta application, so we don't know how well it'll work. I'm just going to quickly check my YouTube stream so that I can post I'm going to post, there we go, the URL for this it's live data feed. Application, so we don't know how well it'll work. All right, so hopefully I didn't generate too much feedback on that. So here we go. Uh, Steven follows instructions okay so I've advertised it that might get me one viewer instead of none <laughs> all right so on with the show uh, let's see now. Let's come back to where we go. All right, so here we go. Introducing Open Data Editor. I ran this in my newsletter on Friday because it seems so cool and I want to try this out. So this is a beta release for early adopters. We are hoping for feedback and help in testing the application and showing all the potential this tool offers. And that is exactly my plan. Let's see. Just want this to be down ever so slightly. There we go. Yeah, that's better. I think. Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. If I slouch, <laughs> and it needs to be over a bit. There we go. It's a call video design live. Okay, and I'm just going to move this here so I can see if anybody's watching my stream. Nobody's watching my stream, but okay. But I do have the chat open. I've got it mod. I've got it there live. I am broadcasting, so maybe somebody will think Saturday mornings is a nice thing to do. It's what I do for fun on a Saturday. All right, so fostering openness by design, yes. The open data advantage, yes. Key features, yes. Power, powered by frictionless data, yes. Get started with the open data editor beta. This is what I'm up to. Visit our website to download the application for your platform. Open data ed editor is available for all major platforms. Okay, so this is a desktop application, not a cloud application. Well, that'll probably make installation a bit easier. I was sort of hoping it was a cloud application. Okay, well, let's go. Let, let's see what we got. Again, this is a classic Stephen Follows Instructions where uh, I haven't really prepared for this at all. Okay, no code application to explore and publish all kinds of data, data sets, da -da 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 -da, forever free and open source. That's what we like. Okay, so get started. So this is the second get started link I followed. So, okay. Okay. In October 2023, that's now. An alpha version has been released for early adopters. Well, the other thing said it's a beta version, so whatever. Okay. So, you can download it and run it without any technical skills. Woohoo! Okay, for Linux, there are two options available. Uh, okay. Mac OS. Now I'm on a Windows system here. So get go to the releases. See, I, I wish I knew 
like I wish they would tell me clearly is this intended as a desktop application or is it intended as a cloud application it's kind of vague and you need to know this right okay so right but let's follow the Windows instructions go to releases so this is now the third go to I followed and latest 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 okay everything's four days ago so it's pretty easy to get the later this isn't clear uh this could be clearer oh i love this pricing oh pricing for git okay <laughs> all right uh, I would go with a better uh, download page because, like, you know, suppose I was doing Mac. See, and even this latest YML, what's there's too much extra stuff here. I'm assuming that we're going with open data editor win because there's only one windows 1.00 exe so i'm assuming that's the installer and there's the source code if i wanted to install it from source but i definitely do not okay so that's the fairly standard now i'll click on it and windows protected your pc <laughs> more info okay and run anyway because i do trust them windows doesn't like stuff from github <laughs> so we're installing we're still installing uh still no viewers that's what i get so i may have Posted, yeah, yes, I've posted. Okay, Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. We're going to allow access. Okay, if it's first, if 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 it is a first run on your computer, I'd say if this is a first run on your computer. It may take a few minutes to download dependencies. Next time, it will be instant. Well, nothing's ever instant, but I think what they mean is it'll be much faster. I'd, st I'd, I'd reword this. If this is the first time on your computer or something like that, this is awkward. If it is a first run on, that's awkward, very awkwardly worded. So it's downloading dependencies. So seeing as it looks like it's just going to step right into launching the application, what I'm going to be looking for as a new user is some sort of tutorial to pop up. That That's typically what would happen. Well, let me correct myself. That's typically not what would happen, but what should happen. Because we know... I was thinking about it. It should know that this is the first time it's being run. It shouldn't say, if it is a first run, right? It should know that this is the first run. Sorry, that one thing bothers me. Okay, so we have no tutorial. Okay, so select a file to validate, to create, to explore, and project. Okay, article MD. Let's just try this article. All right, so this is a markdown version of an article. I like this. It's a markdown editor, basically. So... Markdown is a pretty simple way of formatting content. And as you can see, 
uh, a Markdown interpreter will take that content, which looks like this, and format it so it looks like this. So, let's see, at image, cars and dogs, at image, huh. chart, that chart. I don't know where those are coming from. Can I click on them? Double click? No, nothing. What if I put another at image in there? I wonder what I get. Okay, now we come back up. We get the same image again. All right, there must be. Okay, oh, there we go, there we go. You see on the side, they each have their own independent name, right? So we have chart, so here's the image, at image, we click on it, there's our image. At license, at geojson, that's pretty cool. At script, so let's come back to the article. Let's see if we can find these things. Here's at map. So that's the GeoJSON. And it just shows up here as a map with a couple of pins in it. So the GeoJSON. See, we can look at the source. And this is the GeoJSON source where we have a map with some. Uh, features, points. So I don't know how they know what part of the world to display. Let's let's just really change this to one. Oh cannot edit in read only editor. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why this is read only. I, you'd think I'd want to be able to change that. Okay, so I guess basically this is kind of automatic where you identify your two points and then when you display the article, it'll sort of center around those two points with some margin around the outside, I suppose. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, okay, so let's continue. Chart, map. Oh, we don't seem to have script in here anywhere. So we'll toss the script in here. We'll just toss it up at the beginning, right underneath the image. That script. And nothing. It just that script. Huh. So, okay. View.json. <coughs> Okay, well, let's try that. That view. Yeah, we just get that view. So I don't know why some of these things work and some of them don't. There's the map. But you can't do the script. Let's try table at table. There are unsaved changes. So let's save this and then we'll go to table CSV. There's the table. So we should get. Oh, maybe. Import pandas as PD. Read table into a data frame. Table CSV. There's the table. Display the statistics. So that's the script that's used for the table. Um, which produces the chart, I assume. So here's the chart. Yeah, this is based on the data. If we look at our table, it's all different kinds of cars. So the chart shows us the data. Okay, so here's the source for the chart. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, for something that's no code, looks like a fair amount of code. Just saying. Okay, editor metadata report sources enable chat. Enable chat AI. Cancel edit with chat AI. Okay. Um. Hmm. And is that it? That seems to be it for this. Okay. Data package seems to be the big deal here. Does this data come from anywhere or do I have to, like, I'd love to have data that came from out there on the internet somewhere. Let's see, add, here we go, remote file. Okay, you are fetching a file, enter source. Okay, but that'll probably just add it to the project, won't it? Local folder, remote data set. There we go. You can add a CCAN, GitHub, or Zenodo data set link. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Um, data is cool. I'm going back to the be beginning. Let's look at see if we have more projects. No, project system. Open API key, open AI API key. Learn more. This is the first bit of instruction or help I've gotten. Okay. All right. So, so this is the what they call the frictionless framework, I guess. Dialect class. Oops, I closed it. Okay. Um, data management for humans. <laughs> Select a file in the browser to explore. This does nothing. I guess they mean select a file here to explore. Okay, cars and dogs. <laughs> okay, how about create? Okay, create file, article, chart, data set, file, image, map, script, or table, or view. Okay, so let's suppose I say article, article MD, we'll call it two. Provide a chat AI prompt. Um, philosophical contributions. Of Stephen Downs. I will spell my name correctly. Let's create. And yeah, we didn't get anything. <laughs> chat AI. Edit chat AI. I'll cancel. Test. Okay, we'll save that. Always good to save your saves. All right, create. What's next? Chart. Create. Okay, there's the chart. Okay, so the table can either come from table CSV or view JSON. So there's the view. That's not very good. Let's go table CSV. Channels, transforms, layers. Yeah. Tool tip, no mark test. Okay. <laughs> well, I need more help, I think, to make this work for me. Like, okay, let's create something else. Data set. This data package create all right package name title description created that's just metadata for it resources 
licenses. See, what am I supposed to do here? Just type a license? No, I can't even do that. Oh, add license. Okay. And, okay, licenses. Add license. Oh, they're all MIT licenses. And we'll save that. All right, so licenses. Add license. Let's remove and remove. Now let's add license. Now yeah, we're back to MIT again. Back to list. We only have one license that we can use. The name must be an open definition license. Okay. <laughs> but I mean why not why not just a drop down list of licenses I can choose from? Contributors. Okay, we have no so I'll add contributor. Alright. Sources and no sources. Again, it'd be nice if we had some sources we could actually choose from to play with. All right, let's go back to clear all of this off and try to create something new. Okay, create. Okay. Create. Let's try enter. Create. Okay, let's save. Create. Image. This will probably just be yeah. create. Yeah. Yeah, you actually have to enter the file path. But again, here, right, if we're creating a file or creating an image, right, we should get an option to either have it come from our own local file system or to input a URL one or the other okay nice cat In cartoon style okay, let's go with create I'll just I'll call it cat cat and this created a broken image. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, okay. Create map. Okay, again, we'll just call this map two. The, the chat AI prompts aren't working, obviously. And this just creates us a nothing map table create no records available okay can I at least edit or okay add a line um, hmm. sort ascending etc there doesn't seem to be any way to add content to it <laughs> Cancel. So, and then view, create a new view, query, right, we need to have to enter a query on a table, maybe more than one. Right. Um, I'm calling this kind of a failure. I mean, I'm sure it works, but it doesn't do anything useful. Um, I, I can't even minimize it, I don't think. Oh, open documentation. Okay. It's really annoying that I can't minimize it. I don't like that. Okay. 
open documentation. This is oh, this is the documentation. Read the concept note, which is more of a slide presentation than a note. There's no easy tool to manage and publish data. Okay. I guess to use the AI, I have to have some kind of account on an AI system. But there's no mechanism for doing that that I can see. I mean, I suppose there is. We'll come back here. Let's see. Yeah, open AI API key. There we go. Um, wonder if I have one. I don't think well, I might. I don't know. Uh, right. Oops. Open AI. Uh, log in. And API, okay. No, I want an API key. API reference, authentication, right. Visit your API keys page to retrieve your API. Okay, so there's my key. I've never used it. <laughs> okay. So, can I? Okay, I'm just going to move this off the main screen. Click edit, edit secret, secret key. I'm going to create a new secret key. Okay, it's just create secret key. Oh, okay. And now I'll copy it. Done. Ooh, I don't like that. I'm going to delete the key I just created. Revoke key. Create secret key. I'm going to give it a name. New secret key. I'm going to create it. I see it once, so I'm going to copy it. I'll click done. All right, so there's my new secret key that I've just created. Let's go back here. Open AI API key. Oh, and now there's no way to move this, is there? <laughs> there's no way to, to hide what I'm showing. Let's see. So I'm going to do this. Okay, over to the left side, so you, you can't see what I'm doing. Maybe I can give you a slightly better... There we go. Now, you can't see what I'm doing. So, I'm opening the config dialog and pasting the key. Oh, okay, you can't see it anyways. So, uh, right screen and camera. So, there you see I've pasted it in. Save should like that who knows all right now let's try to create an image uh we'll call it cat cute cat in cartoon style we'll create it
All right, now we're moving. Lovely. Okay, lovely. <laughs> All right, now let's create uh, a data set uh, with a chat AI prompt. I don't know why they call it chat AI prompt. Shouldn't it be a chat GPT prompt or do they mean just generically? Or there seems to be a reference issue here with chat AI prompt. It sort of implies that it's something inside the software when in fact it's not. Okay, let's go with all tables in the data folder. As they suggested, let's create that and see what we get. We get, there we go. Here's our list of resources, all tables in the table folder. Licenses, no licenses, still. And no way to add any licenses except the MIT license. Okay. Now, so we've created a data package. So let's let's figure out this. Let's figure this out. Okay, I'll get rid of that which I added. Okay. So let's go back now. All right. So here we have a chart. This chart is called chart. Okay, so we'll, we'll save our change. You know, when it says you have unsaved changes, change, save, or revert them, that option should be right in the dialog that pops up, right? You see, like, for example, here I'm typing, right? Now I want to move to chart. Okay, you have, there are unsaved changes, please save or revert them don't just make me hit okay here give me the option save or revert right why would you make me do that and then that right okay so chart so we're gonna look at chart there's chart okay um now chart is based on table CSV and view.json. So in order to make a chart, I'm going to need, I guess, a view and a table, right? So there's table one CSV. Well, that has nothing in it, right? So let's just delete that. We'll get rid of that. Okay. So now we just have this one table. I think we'd like to create another table, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. So let's see if we can create another table. Here's a table. Provide chat AI prompt. Great. Continents with population. I assume it'll it won't just be a list of the continents of all continents that have a population. I think it'll be a list of all the continents with their population, but who knows what chat GPT will produce. Okay, let's produce this table. We'll call it continents. All right, let's create this. Right, exactly. So for some reason, it doesn't include Antarctica, which does have a population, albeit very small. Uh, but we'll leave that aside. I could maybe add it. Editor is enabled. Okay. So can I add a line to this? Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way. enter no nope. um, source ah here we go oh cannot edit in read only editor okay 
Hmm. Okay, so I don't know how to edit this data. I don't know if it's possible to edit this data. So I think You are editing the table, okay? Include Antarctica. 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 There we go. Oh, and it says zero. <laughs> and I can't change that to two or whatever the actual population of Antarctica is. All right. Well, that's something. Oh, well, let's give Antarctica a population of two. Well, let's spell that correctly. Antarctica. Okay. All right. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right, so now, okay. So I have the data that I want, continents. Let's get okay, view.json. Here's a view. Okay, a view basically is a query. Uh, and then the columns to show. Okay, so select. Okay, so let's create a view. Create a view. And we'll put in the prompt here. Show continents with population. And we'll call it C view. Create. So a continent, some population as total population. Okay, it's not quite what I meant, but from countries grouped by continent. Yeah. Group by well, I don't have countries. Well, let's see what happens when I put these together. So come back to chart. So I want continents, CSV, save, and, oh, do I pick either? Let's, let's, but I don't have C view. I can't pick C view. Hmm. Let's click. Oh, publish on the web. That's kind of cool. See, can. Oh, we don't know how to do that yet. Okay. I don't want to publish something that's really stupid either, so. Not that I think it'll matter, but I mean, the last thing the world need, needs is me to pollute the world with stupid data. Okay, save to another location. Okay, let's try to make my chart. Oh, let's try to make my new chart, data continents. So continents, title, continents, width, 20, height, 100, Let's make it 200 by 100. Tool tip, no. Mark bar. Okay, different types of things. Save. And I get only that. I got one big blue box. Channels, transform players. 
Okay, well, let's look at their chart and see what they're doing. See? Okay, here's their chart. Their chart, their data is view.json. View.json is this. Continents, continent CSV. Okay, so where's my view? C view. Columns. Continent. And population. Yeah, so that, that should work. But from countries, I no, from, where's my data? Continents, right. So continent and population from continents. Continent and population. from continent, continents. I don't know whether uh, these are case sensitive, they're capitalized, continents, okay. Group by continent, I don't care about that, okay. Query, select continent, population continents. All right, save. Right, that's what I want. Columns, so we want to, okay, that should work. Now let's go back to our chart. Chart one dot, no, that's, yeah, that's chart one, yeah. So data, C view, title continents, save that and we still just get this great big blob <laughs> so let's go back to what they've done uh, chart draws from what if I change this Continents. Right. Okay. So, continent. Oh, that's just the data. Okay. We won't see view. Nothing. View. Table. Right. Nothing for table either. Okay. So, this needs to. Yeah. Okay. So, Let's go back to view. So it's comparing the price across the brand, right? So we go back to view JSON. Okay, select brand. I'm going to copy this and go into C view with it. All right, let's paste this. Okay, select. Continent. Okay. So. Round. Average population. As average population. From table. Okay, they have table. I want continents. Great. 
group by population. No, group by continent. Order by, right, group by continent. Order by, oh, it look, it's even going to give me maybe average population, DESC. Okay. All right. Let's save that. It seems to produce nothing. Continents is good now. Again, these are capitalized and in here, C view, where'd it go? They're not, right? So let's try capitalizing them. Continent, oops. Population from continents, group by continent. Population desk. Okay, save. Still nothing. <clears throat> count as count. Average population from continents. Group by continent. It's so weird that that doesn't work. This doesn't work either, so. <laughs> like the actual text. Okay, let's, okay, we'll, we'll leave this, we'll save this, okay. Let's create a new view. Create a view. View.json. We'll call it uh, car view. Create. I'm going to put the actual original query here. Okay. So what's different? This query is right, but we're still getting nothing. All right, so we'll save this. We'll go back to view. So, okay, oh, I see. No, I don't see. <laughs> Table, view, continent, car view. I don't know what's happening in this box. So, table, table CSV. Oh, and it did, a, it did appear now. So let's go back to C view. Okay, here we go. Okay, table should be continents. Continent string and population integer, okay. View, C view, no. No, it should be continents. So, continents, population. No changes to say. I don't know how to change anything here. Columns. Okay. Uh, continent. Continents. Okay, continent. Oh, it just disappears again. Arr. Can I do 
do anything to this? Continents. Continent. Double click. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay, here, select, I want it to be continent. Okay. All right. From continents. All right, double click on that. Group by continent. Clicked on that. Order by average population continent. No, this should be. Yeah. Continent. <laughs> so it doesn't insert exactly right. So we got an extra. So I guess the columns, this is just a thing for finding the stuff that you want to populate your query with. And why don't I just get rid of this round? And we'll just order it by population. Okay, so select continent from continents, group by continent, order by population, desk continent. Let's save that. What do we got? Nothing. I do not understand. There's, there's something I'm missing here. And again, it'd be helpful with instructions. More, more useful with instructions. Because I, I don't know what they're thinking. So these columns is obviously a way of filling in this query. Right, so so you don't actually type stuff here. I guess that's what they mean by no code. I don't need to count either. I don't know. So, uh, this seems like it would be a great tool. Uh, but it doesn't explain itself very well or at all. And I don't like that I can't minimize it. That's not good. I don't even know how to close it, actually. View. 
That's enough for this. And config dialogue cancel. I mean the AI. Let let's. Hmm. I was gonna say let's try something else. I don't know what to. Let's try. Create an article. Article five. Um. The continents showing a graph with continents ordered by population. Let's see if it'll do that for me. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have a broken image here as our bar graph. Pretty crappy article. <laughs> Um, and the main thing that we needed doesn't work. So let's try something ever so slightly different. <laughs> Write an article, the population of the continents. Create a pie chart showing that population linked to a table with that data. Great. Oh, did I? I did that all in the title, didn't I? <laughs> Just create, we'll just delete this somehow. There we go. Delete. Okay. Let's try that again. Pi Earth. We'll just call it Pi. Population. There we go. Spelling probably matters to the AI. Let's see. And nothing. on Earth with a table showing their populations. Okay, let's try, try that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it is a table. <laughs> so I think what you would do is like maybe do something like this. You'd create a table. The 10 
most populous cities on Earth. So let's create a view. We'll make this a view. Okay, we'll create city table. Okay, now we'll create a view. Okay, from CD table. Show a bar graph of the cities by population. Oops. So I want it to use this data to create, I will call it city view. Create. But we don't get our bar graph, that's the problem. In here, okay, well, right, this will just list everything I have. Yeah. So view. It, it's not doing the view, it's not doing the columns bit for me. A view is the result set of a stored query which can be queried in the same manner as a persistent database collection object. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, so here we have chart.json. The data coming from view.json. So let's create a chart bar chart for cities ordered by population let's see what that does Oh, there we go. It's kind of sideways, but it's still good. All the data is in line. So it's not actually drawing from any data. If we look at like chart, it's actually drawing from view.json. But this one, the data is in line. So how about create a table and a view of the top 10 cities by population and use this to create a chart, a bar chart of cities ordered by population. Create. Failed to open the project. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it just it failed. That's terrible. Create a new issue. Sharing the project details, if possible. I don't. Oh, well, here's my chart.
open. Cancel. Open. C, user C, okay. Usually I use E, so that's what threw me off a bit. Uh, open data editor. Example. Oh, there's more uh, things in here. Open data editor. I guess just this. Select folder. Oh. <laughs> oh. Think.json, name.no. It seems to have wiped everything out. Open metadata.json. Hmm. Let's make this. There we go. We're back. <laughs> okay. So, Article 5, I guess. Nope, that was my continent. City article? Nope. Hmm. These would be better sorted into what they are as opposed to just all sorted alphabetically the way this is, right? Well, no, not even the way this is. But. So, like, show me the articles or, you know, I might even want, like, maybe tabs across the top here. Uh, so, articles views, images, whatever. So it looks like it just simply failed to create that article. So let's try this again. Okay. Describe the 10 most populous, or actually, Let's do it this way. Create a table with the 10 most populous cities create a view with those cities sorted by population, create a chart based on that view, and insert the chart into an article about the cities. Now, the, the tricky thing here for OpenAI is I'm using the word that here to refer back, right? And those to refer back. So I don't know if ChatGP will pick up on that. An English speaking person certainly would, but I'm just going to copy this. case this blanks it out again. Uh. The, the bar chart is broken again. 
right it's just a link to example.com That's kind of it. create view most populous cities as, and then we have the selection from 10 most populous cities, but I don't think it actually made the table 10 most populous cities. Yeah. Let's try something real simple. countries I have a feeling this won't work either I was thinking a long time about it using actual data I didn't give it a number of countries to display, so. <laughs> but I mean, it can only do something like 207 of them, so. Anyhow, I think this will be the last one. Uh, it might not finish. <laughs> I still don't know how to close the open data editor except you know I can go down here and just close it um, but yeah there's no close box up there that's really weird so all right let's give up on this right click close window so it's see if it's still running uh, no it doesn't appear to be so that's good all right so neat idea I still like the idea um, we're not to the point where non-tech people can use it yet for sure auto i wonder what that does oh just the uh, theme we we need more examples i think so here's the github view yeah we'd need examples or instructions or you know something like that server fixed empty data set creation i want to encourage it I, I think it's a great idea especially if we can make this cloud or something so that although you know maybe you don't need it to be on the cloud you just need the data itself or the article or whatever the view to be on the cloud and then of course it does allow you to publish on those various places it should give me an example of where I can get data or views or whatever from these various places and, and fiddle with that. So yeah, that's the main thing with this. I mean, the series here is called Stephen Follows Instructions, um, but I just didn't have instructions to follow. And uh, except this, local files, no vendor lock-in, use AI, I like that. 
e.g. create CSV with the 10 most populated said it would be instant the second time. This is, oh, it's installing it again. <laughs> is it, did it actually show up? Oh yeah, it just showed up in here. There's no real icon for it. But. Oh well. <laughs> Well, it definitely was more instant. Let's let's try that thing that they actually said. Path. Enter the file path. See, even that's wrong, right? It's not. We're entering a file name, not a file path, unless we want the full file path. But there should be that little normal pop-up interface for for working with files. So. I'll just call this pop sit we'll hit create and we get nothing there's pop sit so even the example on their own page doesn't work so <laughs> right I get nothing So maybe they should have tested that before they put it on their diagram. Um, okay. And it's kind of weird, right? We have use AI, e.g. create a map of all the capitals in Latin America. And we have a picture of Europe. Let's see if this works. That would be cool if it did. Um, create and nothing again nothing so all right the uh, draw a picture that actually did work Writing an article about the history of Portugal probably would work. Portugal, the country. <laughs> Prompt. I assume this will work. I doubt that it will put a map into it or anything like that. Because that part seems to be failing. It might create a broken image. Okay. Yeah. Article. Portugal. Well, I don't even have the, uh, the article here. I don't even, oh, there it is, Portugal, the country. Oh, it sorts these alphabetically, but by their ASCII number. So we get all the capitalized ones first and then all the lowercase ones. That's really bad. I, I don't like this sorting on that side. And again, I get nothing. So maybe I have to tell it that it should be an article. go the article about the country <laughs> prompt create yeah there we go no images or anything just an article
I think it was during the Roman period when Portugal became an important. So maybe some of these other ones, you actually have to, so like say, we'll come back to map, create a map with all the capitals in Latin America. We'll come back here and create, create Latin map. Oh, let's we gotta say that it's a map. <coughs> we'll keep the uh, there we go. With all the capitals in Latin America. I wonder if that'll include Central America and Mexico. Hmm. I mean I would assume it would. It should include <laughs> the US but <laughs> and it might just die here too looks like this one's just gonna die we'll come back to the article here uh, create a data set including all the tables and articles huh I don't know what that means. Oh, it did create our map. Okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. So you've got all the South American capitals, of course. But, uh, okay. It did not include Belize. That's correct. Did not include Jamaica. That's correct. It did not include the Dominican. That would be wrong. Because uh, the Dominican is Spanish speaking, is to my recollection. I could be wrong about that myself. So, um, Trinidad it included. Yeah, so some, uh, of course, Puerto Rico isn't a country, but. And it did include Mexico, did not, of course, include Canada or the U.S. And it included all the South American ones. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. That worked. Create a data set including all the tables and articles. Huh. And it should be called package.json. I have no idea what that would mean. Let's see. Create <coughs> data set. Data package. Two, we'll call it 22. Create a data set including all the tables and articles. Let's create this and see what we get. Failed to open the project. Okay, and we're broken again. Alrighty, that's it. Um, I would have done more, I suppose, if I had more instructions, but this was about it. Uh, like the idea, implementation still has some bugs to smooth out. Um, it dropped entirely a couple of times um created broken images why would it just link to example.com i don't know i don't get that that seems to be a placeholder that should be fixed um yeah that's it open data editor this has been another episode not a complete and utter failure because the application did work um, but uh, pretty interesting um, episode, I think, of uh, Stephen Follows Instructions.